Olivier Roustin is young enough and pretty enough to be a model. In fact, he's creative designer for one of fashion's leading brands, now collaborating with high street chain H&M. It's a big challenge, but it's an amazing challenge for a designer that works for luxury like me, because you usually speak to a niche, to, some, to a really small crowd, because not everybody can afford the barman clothes. So I have to say that it's really exciting also for me to, to work for um, high street like H&M, because you talk to a really big crowd, like more global, and, and all my fans that maybe love the brand and love the barman world, but can't afford the clothes, actually now can afford the clothes. Roustin has nearly two million followers on social media. He's so well connected, it's thought he may know who all the Kardashians are. My generation is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's one click. So I have to say that also in my way of working is the same, I need to go fast. And if you like me, you follow me. If you don't like me, you just unfollow me. So there's something really honest that we don't have sometimes in fashion. Because when you are part of a magazine, it's because maybe you can be a big advertiser. And where social media, I think it's something really honest and sincere and real. How easy or difficult has it been for somebody like you to make it in fashion. I come from an orphanage. I have been adopted by my white parents. I don't know where I come from because I'm born like uh, in the late 80s when the mom was giving up the baby. Um, she could leave without saying any address and details. And, and so I'm part of this story. Uh, so I think fashion always helped me to actually define who I am and who I want to be. Uh, it has been like a tough, I had a, a tough life, I have to say because not knowing where you come from, not knowing your parents, living in a white world in a way, because I think we can't forget, but sometimes fashion is, is, is defined like a white world. So I feel like I've been lucky, but at the same time I work so hard. And I, I almost thanks also my past, because I think that's my past that makes me so strong today. There's great debate about the size, the shape yeah. of catwalk models. Yeah. Uh, people say they're too skinny, they're not real. So I think we are going back to to real bodies, to embrace like real femininity and, uh, and that's what I love. And all my catwalk, all my girls are literally like different shapes, different ages, they can be mom, they can be young. It's just, it, uh, it's just depending, but I love just showing a reality on my catwalk and I think we are going back to that. You've got into trouble with a belfie or two. Do you know what a belfie no. is? It's when you take photos of your backside, your ass. I, I did that. Your bosses weren't too keen, is that right? I think they were not like the happiest person in the world when I did that. But when they see my ass, they were okay. Uh, it's no, a just... good ass, <laughs> is it? I'm kidding. Like I took a selfie, I think like long time ago of my body and I, actually after I had the chance to do a cover naked for a magazine and uh, I just want to show myself how I am without a double-breasted jacket. And in French we say mise à nu, literally being naked. The Paris attacks happened in your neighborhood where you live. I was in my office. I was with my assistant and we were like speaking about the next collection. And she asked me, it's going to take long the conversation about the, um, the, the next show. And I say, yes. So she texts her boyfriend and say, we're not going to go to the restaurant because she, had a, she should have a dinner. And this dinner was exactly at the place where they shot. So. She felt really lucky, obviously, because she was with me in the office. When we heard the news uh, on our phone, we, we locked the office and we just didn't want to go out. The past few days have seen considerable success for Front National. How do you regard that? This is really scary. Um, I'm, I'm afraid of that. I don't think we need to respond by extremist uh, ideas. Uh, I think Front National is like, uh, a really bad thing for France. I think um, I think people should vote, and I think people should actually not go for uh, this kind of extreme. We can't answer to extreme story with an extreme political ideas. Um, it's really uh, I'm really wondering of my country because I really I'm really worried of. I think we can't forget that what is amazing about France is liberté, égalité, fraternité. I don't think there is any freedom in Front National. What can we expect from you next? With all what's happened with Paris, I want to make sure my next collection is a reflection of the beautiful France, the beautiful Paris, 
Paris with the lights. So it's going to be a lot of diversity, it's going to be a beautiful Paris and it's going to be an homage to my country and, and showing that Paris is amazing and we, keep, we, keep, we have to keep it strong and not forget that Paris is the city of lights.